Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us now with your weather impact alert. Bobby, at this hour, you're getting a better look at the projected path. Yeah, but you got to remember, look, we're talking Wednesday morning, midday time frame for landfall. So this Sunday night right now, we've got time to watch this. It's over 800 miles west southwest of Florida. It now has 85 mile per hour wind. So Hurricane Milton moving to the east at seven miles per hour and the structure is actually pretty good. It actually has been rapidly intensifying throughout the day today. 5 p.m. forecast track. Look at these numbers. Tomorrow night in the Tuesday morning, 140 for the winds. Tuesday at lunchtime, 145 mile per hour winds. That would be a cat four, but then it starts to weaken a little bit late Tuesday night into Wednesday as it's approaching us and they're thinking around 120 mile per hour winds with landfall somewhere Manatee Sarasota County right now and this has changed the last 24 hours. It'll probably change a little bit again. So I don't want to focus on that. Just know that the center can go anywhere in here and you've got you're talking from Marco all the way up to Crystal River. All right now it will go across the whole state. It will likely be a hurricane the whole way. Obviously the strongest would be over here and then weakest would be over here. Models earlier in the day they were switching to the south. Later in the afternoon they started bumping back up to the north and so has the hurricane center forecast. You can see the movement right now is to the east. It almost looks like it's going a little east southeast. But look, there's a, another system out ahead of it and that's the rain that we're seeing now. So this is going to be a big rainmaker as well. You're going to add these rainfall totals on top of the storm when it comes through. Now arrival of tropical storm force winds. Preps should be done by Tuesday night. No later than that. It's a lot easier to do things in the daylight, so you want to do it before sunset. But Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., we've got tropical storm force winds, and it will just get worse as the day wears on. Now, this is storm surge forecast so far. No numbers have been released, but this track goes right over Siesta Key. That's the latest track. The other one was down towards Vamo. Okay, but what you want to see here is wherever it goes in there and to the south of there, will have the best or the worst, I should say, surge, the best chance of seeing the highest surge. But if this comes further to the north, then you start pushing it more up into the bay. There will be some minor uh, surge in the bay if this were to happen. But the deal is, guys, this is going to change. It was down here earlier. Now it's up here. We don't know exactly where it's going to be. We have time to watch it, but we have to prepare for it being up here because that was what it was all day yesterday up there towards Newport Ritchie, which was worst case scenario for the Tampa area. So we're not nobody's out of the woods yet. Right, we just don't know enough about it, but we'll be tracking it. Forecast rainfall, as you can imagine, we're going to see a ton of it. It's four to eight, at least some places could see almost a foot. And I think a lot of it will be to the north. Now, coming up, we'll talk about the more specifics. And Colleen's here. She's going to go over what you can expect in your neighborhoods.